All right, in this video, we're going to review a couple of uh, new things and a couple of, and, and one really old thing. So if a function is approximated by that Taylor series, what is the third derivative at 2? Well, remember, a third derivative goes with the third power. Um, so we're looking at, you know, here's the third power. We're looking at negative 7. This is the coefficient. To calculate coefficients, we do the derivative, in our case, the third derivative, over 3 factorial. So this is the coefficient. This must be equal to negative 7. So I multiply both sides by 3 factorial to solve for just what is the third derivative. Negative 7 times 6 is negative 42. Uh, next, converge or diverge. Well, this one I would say converges by limit comparison. If you make a comparison of 5 over n squared, the highest power to stuff on top and bottom, that is a convergent p-series, so the, uh, the comparison would also converge. Uh, this one, I would use, uh, this one diverges, I would say, by the nth term test, but again, you could use the high-powered stuff on top and bottom and make a series of three-fifths, which is divergent because it's just adding three-fifths over and over and over again. Okay? Next, uh, solving the initial value problem. Well... You see here, and I always you know, say when you're solving these, you think about d square over d triangle. If, if there is a square in the um, derivative and it asks you to work back to the original function, you need to do a separate, separate integrate solve for y. It's a separable differential equation. There is. You see that you know, there's a y here. There's a y that appears here. So we do need to do a separate. So first thing I would do, is multiply both sides by dt and then divide both sides by y. So now we've separated. The y's are on the left and the non-y's are on the right. So I've got 1 over y dy equals 0.7 dt. So I separate, now I integrate both sides. This is the natural log of y equals 0.7t plus a constant. Hopefully you remember this from Calc 1. I, so we separate, we integrate, now we solve for y. To get rid of natural log, I do e to both sides. This becomes y. Now right here, this is e to the 0.7t, and e to a constant, we multiply the two. That's how we get the addition in our exponent, is by multiplying the bases. e to a constant, this is a constant. So I would rewrite this as c e to the 0.7t. So now I say, well, when t is 0, y is 200, so I can solve for the constant. So e to the 0 is 1, so the constant is 200. So my final equation is 200 times e to the 0.7t. Again, that's all review from Calc 1. Hopefully you remember those. I went through it pretty quickly.